Instagram. We're dancing, and we're dancing. Tommy's doing the lawnmower. <laughs> Hello? Hello, right. is this Robbie? Yes, it is. Robbie, Outsider Tackle Box Radio Show. My name is Paul. We have Tommy in the studio with me. Hey, what's going on, Robbie? How you doing, bud? Real good. How you guys been? Uh, I'm awake. Sitting he's next here. to this guy. He's Not here, really. and he's festive. He's wearing a antler hat, and he looks great. But welcome to the show. Thanks for being on. And uh, the <laughs> like, idea. I'm like a big fat reindeer is what he's trying to get at. But he he was trying to be. I nice. was trying to give you a, give him a visual of what you look like. <laughs> I, I think I pretty much handled <laughs> it. Like the red nose, huh? Uh, <laughs> minus the red nose, just big fat reindeer. <laughs> I, I'm the reindeer that Santa won't use. <laughs> so the idea behind the show, uh, the radio show and podcast, is to spread happiness to the world through the joys of fishing. And we feel like the fish photo just does just that and uh, you were part of a um, a posting on our outsider tackle box fishing group I'm mm -hmm. an outsider fishing group mm -hmm. and it was a throwback Thursday and you uh, sent in a photo of you about what is it 20 years ago you had mentioned pretty close it was about uh, about 1982 oh so wow. that's longer than 20 years ago Good yeah night. it was longer than that <laughs> I was about the size of one of those fish I was nice. tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to hear about the fish photo, whatever you can remember. But usually, uh, we how the how, what we ask from our uh, callers is to tell us where they caught the fish, mm -hmm. the bait they were using, and the size of the fish. Uh, if you can, <coughs> if you had a way to. But he doesn't need to go back in time and remember each size of each fish. So Yeah, that's what we're, we're trying just... to explain to him, Tommy. Thanks <laughs> okay. for repeating what I was just saying. Well, he I often know, does that. Too many to even begin that. <laughs> I, I, Tommy often does that. I'll give direction and and he will repeat the direction that I just that I just gave. With, with all due Which respect, is important cuz sometimes it, people, you know, well, maybe they didn't hear it. With all due respect, it just sounds better coming from me. Okay. Like, you're like, we should do that. And I'm like, nah, we should do this. And you're like, I just said that. And I'm like, I know, but it sounds better. You know, sometimes people take their ideas from somebody, you know, and if you, so you might try to make the idea yours. I understand it. That's a good idea, Paul. Of course, there's always just... someone to steal it, though. Yeah. <laughs> I just sit there and I go, yep, that was my idea. So let's get back to Robbie. Because it goes your his... thunder. Yeah. <laughs> there, it's his podcast. And we want to hear the fish story. All right. So where, okay. where well, are we at? Um, I, originally, I'm from uh, Texas. I, I live in West Texas. Okay. Um, but I have a sister that lived up in Plentywood, Montana, and she was moving from one house to another, needed some help. So I flew up there, and in the process of uh, helping her, my brother-in-law move from one house to another, he, uh, my brother-in-law, knowing that you know I was I love fishing, I always went bass and catfishing down here in the rivers and lakes here in Texas. Mm -hmm. And he asked me, have you ever caught any walleye or northern pike or trout? And I said, no, I haven't. Never have. The only time I've ever seen them was on the end fisherman on TV back then. Yeah. So, uh, he said, well, we have a fishing trip planned, him and a friend of his, up in Canada. And he goes, would you like to come with us? And I said, yeah, why not? Shoot, I'd like to catch something like that. Not only are you catching well, something on. that you haven't caught before, you're catching it in a whole other country. That's awesome. Right. I had never <laughs> been to Canada before, so that was a, that was a whole other yeah. you know, adventure there for me. Exactly. So we ended up going to uh, Lake Namiba in the province of Saskatchewan. That sounds fun. And uh, we got there. Oh, prior to that, uh, of course, you had one of those, uh, uh, I guess, a, a man night where... The guys got together and got to went to a garage and started getting all the equipment and gear together and get it ready for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, they introduced me to these two small aluminum V-bottom boats okay. that they were rigging up some kind of contraption on the bottom of them with wheelbarrow tires on it. Okay. Uh, a little a little dolly cart, mm -hmm. and I didn't quite understand what they were doing or why it was that. They kept saying, "Well, we're going to be portaging. We're going to portage with it." 
Well, I had no idea what that was. I don't Texas. know what that is either. <laughs> what is portaging? So, uh, it's uh, apparently it's French for for crossing. So I thought, okay, well, I still didn't it didn't comprehend in me. So we had a big, great, big V bottom boat, and we pulled these two small little boats behind us. Mm-hmm. And we got to the lake over there. It was a pretty big lake, pretty busy. Uh, you know, lots of fishermen, lots of water sports going on. Mm-hmm. We ended up crossing that entire lake. It took us about an hour, hour and a half to get across it. And next thing I know, we're unloading the little boats, putting all the gear in those tiny boats. And it, it, I didn't understand what was going on. I thought we were going to fish. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not yet, apparently. Um, <laughs> And my, uh, my wife and the other guy's wife ended up taking the big boat and leaving with it, going back to camp, uh, mm-hmm. the main camp there. And uh, we were stuck with two little tiny boats. And little did I know, we were pulling those boats hundreds of yards across the land into the forest to another river. Wow. wow. So there we go. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Mosquitoes were eating us alive. And <laughs> wow. So we got to the we got to a river, and that's what I found out. What portage means is that we're crossing land, uh, portaging from one river, one lake to another, to another, and you're carrying, uh, you're dragging the boat behind you, more or less, kind of thing. Right, and that's what the little wheelbarrow tires are for to make it a little easier for us to, gotcha. you know, it's a, it's a wagon. We turn the boats into a little wagon, and they were loaded down, boy. Uh, each one had a little twenty five horse motor on them. Wow. Uh, we finally got to a river got the boats in there and put the motors on it started going up the river very slowly because it was full of grass and cane and mm-hmm. uh, it was shallow and you know i'm already kind of like you know half, half the day's gone by and it's like we haven't fished yet <laughs> uh, that'd be frustrating a here yeah <laughs> unless you we have coming fishing alcoholic yeah. beverages and it, but still when you go when you expect to be fishing <laughs> but the end yeah, result I mean, we know what it is and so I, I, i'm working way it. too hard to I'm, get I'm to just, where I'm, you're I'm, supposed I'm, to go. I'm like exerting myself too much. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to the river, got all the way down the river a long ways, and it opened up into another whole lake. So I thought, oh, okay, well, this is the lake they must be talking about. So we started crossing that lake. And there was people out there as well on that one. Uh, but no, here we go again. Pulled up to the other side of the lake, pulled the boats out, put the wheels on it, and here we go portaging again. <laughs> that just we seems did like that a lot four of work. times. Oh my gosh! It was it took all day long till we finally got to the lake that they wanted to get to, and there was absolutely nobody at all at the last two lakes we crossed. Man, the only thing that really raised my spirits tremendously was on the last river close to the the mouth of going into the last lake that we wanted Mm -hmm. there was a big dead tree in the middle of the river Uh but the most beautiful thing i had ever seen and never expected in my life to see one was an american bald eagle that's awesome wow just just watching us in the little boat go right by him oh awesome what are those guys doing? That, that, That's that made they... the adventure one thing. <laughs> that, that American bald eagle sitting in a can in, in Canada, and he's just like looking over everybody. He's like, "Yeah, that's awesome." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was just watching. It's like he was watching over us. I mean, it just gave me the chills. That's awesome. So there we were. Finally, we're at the lake they want, and uh, you know, it was already late that night or that evening. So we just set up camp. So the next morning, I just started fishing off the bank. Yeah. And I was using either a little, a little tiny silver spoon with some little beads on it, mm-hmm. and a uh, a jig head with a chartreuse grub worm, and that's all I used uh, for the for the two days that we fished on that lake. And seventy five percent of my fishing was just right there off the bank. Wow! Really? And it was just one right after the other. No wonder these guys wanted to go over there because. It's not fished very much, I guess. You know, yeah. it's way up in the Yukon Forest. Yeah, a lot of wild. Uh, there's no wild roads. Trout, there's no way to get to the it. place. Yeah, that truly is yeah, a secret a... fishing spot. <laughs> and even though <laughs> you gave sure the was. location, I doubt people are going to do that much no. traveling to try to get there. So no. it's still going to be. 
Yeah, you know, and that's why there was no one there because yeah. no one cares to to, to watch that hard to far. get there. Well, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Listening and, to Robbie's uh, story, I already got winded. I got winded when you portage the first area <laughs> trying to get to the the next lake. I'm already. I would have already like. I probably would have passed out. You would have fished the first oh, lake that you got the, to. That's the, what Tommy would have did before we crossed the lake. You'd be like, "There's fish that, here too." Yeah, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> you know, crossing cro- that first portage crossing wasn't that big a deal. I mean, it was just it's like pulling a wagon. It was the real work was trying to get those little boats up the river because they're they're so congested with grass and cane, and you had to pull the motors up every five minutes and pull the grass out of the props. Oh man! That and then just so like we could a lot of work. go down the river again a little bit. It was. I was upset, but in the end, that what you saw hanging in that picture is uh, back then was a, a limit. Oh wow! Okay. We each one of us caught that limit at least ten times a day. Wow! Whew. That much. We threw so many fish back in the water, and we ate a lot of them too because we didn't even take food with us. And now I know why because we were definitely going to be eating what we caught. Yeah. Well, thanks and, for sending uh, in. And I ended up catching two trout as well. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, see, I, I I mean, that picture alone makes me want to go. But then the story just kind of made me go, mm, no, you're too fat for this. <laughs> we're not going to travel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had no trouble when we were going home doing all that portaging again because it was all worth it. Well, see, in that picture, you look pretty physically fit. I look nowhere like that. So I would have given up, like I said. I would have given up at the thought. Well, he, he, I mean, that was a long time ago, Tommy. That, I mean, Still. let's let's put you at at what like twenties. You probably wouldn't have. You would have been able to that. Remember, people know that you used to be a professional wrestler. Yes. And so you I actually, still, at one point in your life, were I, physically fit. I was physically fit, but what I lacked was did it, like like the the oomph. What was so, your professional wrestler name? Chains. Okay, chains. Well, so let's. Why do you, why do you bring? That? Let's not interrupt <laughs> Robbie's uh, podcast because we enjoyed the fish story. And please continue to send in photos. Yep. And uh, if you have any recent photo photos, photos, photos. That's a new word. <laughs> new, word. A new word. You Welcome know, I'm always curious what word I'm gonna make up <laughs> Welcome and bring to the, to the world, show. New word. Photos is gonna be now in the dictionary, the outsider tackle box dictionary. It's not. In, yeah, I was gonna. We'll say. We'll have an outsider tackle box dictionary and coloring we, book, we so you t- can contribute. <laughs> we should totally make that dictionary for Paul and paint by number for Tommy. Yes. <laughs> no, but yeah. please continue to share with us, and thank you for being active on our "I'm a F- Outsider" fishing group uh, on Facebook. And um, you're welcome back on the show anytime. Anytime, Rob. Recent photo or one that you have again that has a good story behind it. I was there with you the entire time. I was on the trick with him, and that's a good fish story. Yeah, no, that was. They a good all fish have story. been. All I we have not had a bad fish story. Yeah. I already, like I said, I already feel winded by portaging all the, all that way. And Tommy I, found out a new word, and he's going to I'm use, gonna it. use it. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. He's gonna excited. Using, I'm just gonna start. He's using excited it on because he people. learned a word, and it's portage. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna portage this street. <laughs> it's, it's French, something like that. French for crossing land. I See, guess. I'm gonna portage the street later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the, you're no longer going to cross the street. No, I'm you're going to portage the street. It sounds it sounds better. It sounds sophisticated. Yeah, which sounds weird coming from me. <laughs> That's why it's <laughs> it's a great word. <laughs> well, yeah, please. Uh, from all of us here at Outsider Tackle Box, uh, thank you, Robbie. We love the fish story. Please share more. We know that you have them. Yep. Uh, come back anytime. And uh, fish more tight lines. Tight lines, and, buddy. Uh, have a come good back one. soon. Absolutely. Take care, Robbie. Have a good one. Real guys. Appreciate it. Uh, anytime, you buddy. Take care.